Got my bag? Not for yours. Ah. The bag I took from here, your gift will fit in. Okay, great. <laughs> That's a tiny little bag. I know. <laughs> so you're bragging that my present is so small. No, I'm bragging. I've bragged that your gift is so good. Size doesn't matter, Mark. And on that note. This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. That was offside, sure. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. First day of December. No, it isn't. It's first day of winter. <laughs> First day of winter. <laughs> Don't back up. You're going to anger a lot of children. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. And many Start adults. Over, kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're almost there. We cannot back up now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I got Charity's present. I'm very, very happy about it. I think you're yeah, actually going to like that. it. I think you're actually going to like it. See, don't build it up, Mark. Because now I'm afraid I've done that. That I'm not going to like the present you that got. That I have built it up oh, so much. I love it. Don't worry about it. That it's going to yeah. fall flat. I'm going to I don't enjoy think it'll it. fall flat, but will I don't I think cry? you'll be as excited. No, you won't. What cry. will my reaction? What is the ultimate reaction? Laughter. I think you will be. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's the ultimate reaction. Great. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think you will be, you know, subtly pleased. <laughs> I was extremely happy with Ryan Williams' gift today. And I only bring it up because it kind of ties into your gift because you were bugging me about. So MP Ryan Williams stopped in and brought us these nifty T-shirts from the Hill, from Parliament Hill. Parliament store. And I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Ingrid helped him. (laughs) Okay. Because Ingrid. With sizing. Yes. Yeah. And, And maybe even picking them out because I feel that she maybe picked this out for me. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. But I love it. Mm -hmm. And... As we found, when you pick out clothing for someone, you do have to be careful of the size. And yeah. I think she nailed the size. Good. But I would say this is a big small. Okay, right. This is a large, yeah. it's small because I looked. Uh-huh. And it's a large small. You're afraid that whatever it is you got me is too small. Right. Yeah. Well, you told me it will be based on the size I told yeah, you. Yeah, you told me because who was in here? Why? We, we I had a baggy sweater. No, I had, what were we taking a picture for? It was the awkward Christmas pictures. Yeah, that's and right. And I with had the hats. A, I had a particular shirt on, um, and then Mark got this weird look on his face, and was like, Weirder "I don't, I don't want. I'm not trying to creep you out, but I bought you something, and now looking at you today, I'm thinking it might not fit you." So it's like I never see you actually <laughs> like standing. It's like, wait a minute. Well, and I do tend to wear baggier clothes, and I know on that particular day I had something a little. Yeah. A little more fit, like if the fit. Yeah, was maybe a this will snugger. fit you, but you won't be able to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You won't be able Somewhere. to move. You and can you just kind of. We'll just stand you up. So the one thing that I bought you that I'm still going to give you, you're going to be very disappointed. You can't wear. That's okay, what you're I still going to give it to me. Oh, of course I am. I'm still going to give it to you. I'm not going to take it back. And then I've got other stuff for you that I'm hoping you're going to like. So the whole thing together is a process of the before mm-hmm. gift and then the after gifts. And as long as you oh like gosh. one of them, this is getting way too. And I'll get you a gift card somewhere. I'm just buying. Too, I'm buying my way out of Christmas. <laughs> is what I'm doing. A lot of people, I think, do I've that. ruined Christmas. It's getting this way year. too much. Like, just give me a gift bag. Okay. I'll give you a gift bag and be done with it. I have to go buy one big enough for all your gifts. You're we're going to bring our gifts in tomorrow, yeah. and we're going to bring okay. our pajamas in tomorrow. Just in case. Just Friday. in case this. It's snow crazy. bomb yeah, snow, the, the storm, snow bomb storm we find storm out about. Bomb oh thing my gosh. Comes through. Uh, and then I'm here all by myself on Friday. In your pajamas. That would suck. I think you should still wear your pajamas on by Friday. By myself. That's Why not? awesome. It would be know. hilarious. It would be hilarious, Mark. Okay. I love the fact that, because I mentioned it to my husband yesterday. I said, yeah, Mark wants to have a pajama day at work because the kids get pajama days at school. I can't believe you tell your husband that stuff. Why wouldn't I tell? It's hilarious. I guess. And he kind of chuckled and he said, well, is it just you guys or is the whole office doing it? Said, oh my nope, God. Just us. Just, that's it. Just us. I'm not sure how many people are in on Friday. <laughs> that's a good question. We had someone ask us that. Was it yesterday? Tom yeah. asked us because he had treats for everybody. <laughs> He walked in at nine. Isn't anybody here? Probably not. It's the week before Christmas. Don't even know. It's kind of quiet. We're kind of not here, Todd. Come on up. (laughs) Well, to be honest, and I'm not saying that we're not putting every effort into the show every morning. (laughs) You're listening at 20 after 7. You know what we're talking about. (laughs) But this morning, 
It was tough. And getting here and it just being Wednesday, you yeah. lied to me. You said this week would go by fast. I really thought this week would fly by. In my head on Sunday, getting sort of ready with the Sunday scaries and, okay, don't sleep in. Got to get up at 3.30. You know, you have to do this. It's only been 35 years you've been doing this. You can do this. Um, <laughs> I went, okay, well, this week. And then next week's only three next days. Next week will. And I then think. the week after that's only four days. And the kids are still at home, so it feels like holidays. So for the next, like, three weeks, you're right. And this week, it's been like, when does the fun kick in? Well, it when is it going to be over? <laughs> well, Two more days. And honestly, this has been the fun. The show is the fun, because I'll tell you right now, at home this week, it's awful. Has I thought it I was great? Well, and when I said it only being Wednesday, I thought I, I really thought I was more ahead of the game than right. clearly I am. Yeah. And, then, and, it's, and it's been busy in the sense we had the kids' school dinner on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, they're still doing their sports this week. So again, we were out last night with hockey and karate. They've got their Christmas pageant tonight at school. Uh, sports again tomorrow night. And then Friday. Mm, Friday. And then, then we're done. And they're in school. Hastings Until Prince Friday. Edward is off. Yeah. So. And yeah, they're continuing with school. So it's still that routine too of, yeah. but it feels like it should be done. <laughs> but it's that really weird calendar. Yeah. We talked about this that. This year. Yeah, that it's That later. they get off the bus on mm-hmm. Friday. And nine hours later, it's Christmas mm-hmm. Eve. Now, as you just said, the kids here in Hastings, Prince Edward, tomorrow. So yep. they do get that one extra they day, but you're right. Day. It's still not a lot. Like, mm-hmm. it's only, it's like there. New Year's Day, and then there's another whole week off yeah. for the kids. They don't go back on, like, you're Tuesday. Right. Yeah. The thir- no. no. It's like Christmas and New Year's. You're now you're halfway through your break. And we'll then- be halfway through January. Yeah. Before they go back to school and not because of COVID, just no. the way the calendar yeah. falls. Now the calendar conspires against us yes. for uh But for I think everybody's ready. Everybody's ready for it, I think. I everybody's kind of, yeah, let's just get through this week and and we'll get into the holidays. Daughter hopped on a train this morning, yes. so she's home. So that maybe tomorrow it'll, maybe when you yeah. get home, it starts it'll kind to of feel, feel like, like it. Well, I think tomorrow it will too. Bringing presents in. Now it's Thursday, you yeah. know. If you haven't got it, I mean, tomorrow's exciting because tomorrow's the day men start shopping. So that's an exciting time. <laughs> that's an exciting time. Yeah, if you're in retail, here they come. And you'll greet them with the stunned faces, oh, the where is the whatever, the take my card and tap whatever it can tap. Yeah. And if you rap, I'll pay you $20 stuff <laughs> <laughs> and that. It's so And true. I need stuff big enough for a stocking and things. Uh, Jen from our sister station, Cool 100, yep. she says she did them all yesterday. And all she said was, Wow. <laughs> she was at the mall yesterday. yesterday. Wow. Yeah. wow. 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 Yeah. Right. Yep. It's, so it's, last, it's the week before Christmas. It's, it's going to be wow. And good on local retailers. Good job this year. Mm-hmm. On Because we're hearing yes. the ads, the great ideas, gifts availability. I mean, it was, it was, it's going to be a great Christmas around here. I no, think. I think it, it will as much as we say, and it is tougher this year. Yeah, for sure. I think, and we say a lot of people, I think everybody's feeling it to some yeah. degree. Yeah. It, it's tighter. It's mm-hmm. money needs to go a little further mm-hmm. than maybe in years past. But even with all that said, I still get the sense it's, it's a very joyful time. People yeah. are still happy. Like it, and I say that as though I'm surprised, but it, you still have that feeling. Cause of, we need it. Yeah. 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 People are still opening doors and paying yep. it forward and mm-hmm. doing whatever they can to just make it a little brighter for everyone, which I, l- I love seeing. Kath went shopping earlier this week and got the turkey. Yes. And her thing, uh, her comment was, I think it's smaller than the one we normally get. Probably and I is. Said, Probably yeah. for the same amount of money, you get a slightly smaller yep. turkey. And she was very quick to say, but I'm sure it'll be good. I said, it's going to be great. We're going to love it. It'll be delicious. It'll and you know what? four of us around of... a table that has a never happens. Exactly. And it's Christmas. And maybe it means I don't get that turkey sandwich the next say, day, whatever. instead of two weeks of leftovers, you yeah. have like three days. Yeah. And that's <laughs> really the perfect we're amount. really good. <laughs> like, we're going to go all Whoville. We're going to sing Wahoo, Wahoo, or whatever, and just be happy yes. this year. Because we haven't been happy in a long time. No. Now- Gift giving, we've hit it out of the park as as a family. I know we have. I kind so of we, feel that way this year too. Yeah. Just I feel like we've done yeah. really well with what we've got. Really we've, good thinking we've gotten, rather yes. than spending. Just yes. get what they Well, I've spent yeah. maybe probably more than oh, I well, should. good for you. But so you won't be there has, <laughs> No, I won't. But there's been more thought, you're right, into it. It's it's that there's been the pause of, okay, why am why do I want to get this for this person? Mm-hmm. Is it really the right thing? Am I getting it just to get it? 
or is it something that's going to give them something almost, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah. with your gift? It's like, ding. You're darn yes. happy with it. Because it ties into everything else. Did you read the tip this morning? About uh, what? The, it was the tip on how to get somebody, you don't know what to buy them, how to get them the perfect gift if you have no idea. And I went, where was this idea a month ago? It's not the one I said yesterday, is it? No, it's okay. a whole, it's well, a maybe it one? was. I think it was because I read it this morning and went, that's dastardly. Oh, that's well, then really I, no, I missed one. it. I didn't grab that one. What and is I it? do this. I say, Charity, I got your Christmas gift. Guess what I got you? And then they'll name three things, and then you go get one of those. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no, is, I missed that. Are you sure that went, was that a meme? Or was no, that, <laughs> that, was, a, that was a legit <laughs> life hack. And if they say, oh, is it the new book by so-and-so? Maybe. Oh, oh, did you get me that? And, and gauge on what reaction and gave ah, a really good one. That is go dastardly. That's, that is diabolical. That is diabolical. Absolutely. Everybody feel free to use that one. Feel free to use that one. You know what gave me hope for this Christmas? <laughs> My husband said to me the other day, he's like, oh, did you know Stephen King's got a new book out? I'm like, what? what's the title of it? And he said, I think it's fairy tale or fairy something. Tale, I said, yeah. yes, I do. I saw it at Chapters. Mark and I were talking about it. I'd like to read it. And then that was it. So, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he wanders out to the truck, exactly. backs out of the driveway. So oh, he's like, oh, okay. Wayne's a subtle he's one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but he's smart. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but I thought, wow, okay. Because, yeah, someone's been paying attention. You yeah. saying that about the book reminded me of that. I'm like, ooh, That's good. I'd forgotten that. Hmm. First day of winter today, and uh, with that comes sunshine here in the Quinty region and dark as early as it'll get. And then after this, it gets a little bit yes. lighter. Yes, I, I said the shortest day of the year, yeah. but you said, no, every day has 24, 24 hours you know, because you had to be hmm, a smart ass. What but what I meant was <laughs> the, shortest, guy's on the, naughty the list. shortest amount of daylight yeah. we're supposed to have. But right. as you pointed out, and thank you to the listener that likes to remind us, depending on the shift of the planet and the way we rotate right. and where we are. And Curvature of the it earth could is be not exact. over the next couple of weeks, yeah. really. Yeah. They pointed that out. They said that actually we say that and they showed a graph in eastern Ontario um, from the previous winter mm-hmm. that said actually the, the day that had the least amount of daylight in the Quinty region was December the 30th. I remember that being the day. They said, so there was actually technically more light on the 21st because of curvature of the earth and the whole thing. But generally, yes. It's the, the winter solstice. solstice. Yeah. The arrival of yeah. winter today. North Pole, dark. No light. South Pole, no darkness. All light. That's what it means. And then between, we get the variances of yeah. the time. And If we were right at the equator, it's exactly 12 and 12. If, you know, that's what the equator is. 12 and 12. You get 12 days. There you go. 12 hours of light, 12 yep. hours of dark. If you get the light at 5 in the morning, it's dark at 5 in the afternoon, whatever the yeah, equator whatever is, is on there. But we no up changes. here in the north, the people down in uh, Australia, if you're listening down in Australia, happy summer, mate. Summer's kicking off. Good yeah. for you guys. They're right just on. Their summer vacation. Men at work. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Benjamin. Merry Christmas. So you got to go um, home today. What are you doing Claws. today? Um, let's see. What am I doing today? Talk to me about the, all the uh, gift wrapping you have to do. You I said you're only to. halfway. Uh, yeah. yeah. I got the stocking stuffers. So I, I wrapped the stocking stuffers. So I got them all done yesterday. So mm-hmm. now it's, it's presents and I figure I'm about halfway through. I got to stop at my parents and pick up a couple of things that I was hiding there and bring them home to wrap. I have to stop by my hairdressers and drop off her gift. And then I'm going to wrap again this afternoon. Can I make an observation? Go. It is hard at Christmas time to be a woman. Thank you, Mark. Is that true? <laughs> is it harder to be a woman I at Christmas time than a man? I don't like. Because you're I don't thinking want to group of people everyone. I, never, I know. I don't want to group everyone together because I'm sure there's it. men out there who do it. But in our household, yes, it's yeah. it's a little more involved for me than it is for my husband. Yeah. And I mean, not that he. Part of it's me. Part of it, I just I, say, I enjoy Christmas, doing it. So I does do he enjoy. Step back so he doesn't interfere. And it, yes, it makes me feel better to know it's done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because you will move ornaments um, on the tree. I will sometimes, <laughs> but yes, then I know it's done and it's looked after, and he feels better too <laughs> because he knows 
it's looked after and done. So he knows who he needs to look after, so he does it. Okay. And then I do who I need to look after. and it's, Which is like a whole bunch of other it is, people. It is, yes. I, m- I might, yeah. Hairdressers, bus a drivers, school teachers. Again, those will go out tomorrow too now that I'm thinking about it. We'll send those tomorrow to be sure. But yeah, yeah the teachers and the bus driver and the, as I mentioned, the sports. So coaches and teachers in that area too will get a little something and yeah. just make sure everybody's looked after. Oh my gosh. That's like enormous. And I always feel like I never do enough. Really? I do. I do. Like the more you do, the more you feel lacking. <sighs> it's not the, I wouldn't say it's the more I do. I just always feel there's someone else I could, Yeah. you know, there's someone, yeah. I always feel like I'm missing somebody. I always feel like I, I, I should really do more. I should do this. I should do that. Yeah. So. Well, I'll take my present <laughs> give it to somebody else. No, you don't have to buy no, me I'm anything. not. All right, no. Okay, because no, Here you're checked off. Just super checked. Take it and enjoy First it. Checked. And love it. All right. I will I will love it. <laughs> you I will, are going to love this gift. <laughs> I'm going to openly weep on Friday. But yeah. So. In my onesie. Pajama day, everybody. It's my onesie with feet. Do we have time to get off track just for a moment here? Of course we do. Because it's I'm our podcast. dying to get your thoughts on the Masters. We oh, talked about yeah. this this morning. This oh, yeah. is totally on Christmas yeah. related. Um, so I saw this this morning and I am shocked but it's only one tournament that they're allowed to play in, right? Yeah, right. So they are called Rebels. The Live the Rebels. The golf players, the pro yeah. golf players that left yeah. the essentially PGA the PGA, the America, yeah. to go play in with Live. Yeah. And when they okay. did that, they were banned. They were told they could never come back. Right. And now they didn't leave they've America. Said, they didn't no, leave America. I know, but the Masters and, and the PGA. Americans believe they left America. Okay. Like if you leave the PGA Tour, you are You're, unpatriotic and all that other garbage that they say. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah. but now the Masters, the bosses of the mm-hmm. Masters mm-hmm. are saying that they can come back and play. Yeah, because it's their tournament. It but is it's, not so a it's PGA. Just one, it's not the PGA saying no, it. It's right. just one tournament. That's right. And that's the one in Georgia. Yep. At the at Augusta, Georgia. At Augusta, Early and that's August and they say no. Nope, everybody can April. come play. Yep. And the PGA doesn't have a thought on this. Or? PGA doesn't have a say. They can say all they want. Augusta National sets the rules for the Masters. PGA Tour puts the stop on their calendar for that. In order to qualify for the Masters, you have to have won the Masters before, won a major. Uh, so much money, okay, so world it's, rankings. It's separate. It's completely separate. Okay. Yeah, not. It's uh, it's sanctioned by the PGA. It is not ruled by the PGA. It is ruled by Augusta National. If you want to play in our tournament. So what's going to happen? These guys come back. Yeah. And I don't they know. play. And they and it's not to say that they're going to. It's just that they oh, can. Oh, they will. They will. Sure, they will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, my, my thought on it still hasn't really changed. I don't know what the live guys did wrong. They are... No, but the controversy around it... Hmm. To me, it's Tempest in a teacup. People I understand. were upset. People yeah. were upset. So that's what I mean. By them yeah. coming back, it doesn't take away that feeling. And that's why I'm wondering, how right. is this all going... They'll still play golf, I realize. It'll mm-hmm. still be the Masters yeah. and the regulations yeah. and rules, and they'll yeah. come down on them, whatever. But I'm just kind of wondering what that's going to... How the feeling's going to be that day? I don't know. But I, I'm excited. I, I want to watch it now. You want fisticuffs? It's going to be a rumble. Lot. And it's like maybe some guys are going to wear shorts. It'll get no, out. No, I don't think it'll get down to a fisticuffs. But I am kind of curious about the possibly jabs. Yeah. Possibly the lead up. If if one of the live performers goes on performers, to win it, okay. Yeah. Performers. Because the whole idea is, you know, performers. athletes were told after. Colin Kaepernick to shut up and play sports and stop being so political. So then these guys leave to go to play their sport, play their sport, paid a lot of money, backed by Saudi Arabia, who has horrible human rights past and present more and then are criticized. So it's like, wait a minute. They're not being political. They're just doing what they're told from every American from birth to death is chase the, the almighty dollar. But now they're the bad guys because they're leaving the PGA Tour, which is the Lily White American Tour. Exactly. To and that's why I say else. they left America because I always, yeah. the PGA to me is an American. Right. Yeah. Group. So they're part of a world tour. Like, for example, tennis is a world tour. They don't just play in America. No. But the PGA Tour thinks of themselves as, oh, you know, we're, 
Well, you know. yeah. So these guys are like, no, I'm American, and I've been invited to, and Augusta says I can play, so I'm going to go play. And I've done nothing wrong that any other pe- person told athletes to do. Shut up about the politics and go play your sport. So that's what I'm doing. So, was so why that, am I being criticized? So was that part of it, too? They always knew they'd be allowed back to play in the Masters? No, I, I, I'm not sure about that, but the, the confirmation had to be made. So here's where I really give a tip of the cap to Augusta Nationalists. They told us now. They could have waited until March, like a month before, mm-hmm. but they've made the announcement. They've made it clear that, no, these guys can come back right. and play. But I suppose if you had said, okay, a guy like Bryson DeChambeau or Phil Mickelson or these guys that are on the live tour are putting together their schedules for the year, they would probably want to know now. So either we tell them now and don't say anything for the drama or and let them announce they're going to play at the Masters, mm-hmm. or we just say, hey, Everybody, regardless of what tour you're on, if you qualify for the Masters, you can play in the Masters. And we don't want to get in the middle of all of this, which is basically it's what they It's not politics done. for us. Yeah. It's to have the best players. Yeah. Still can't bring a phone, and sandwiches are a buck and a half. Come play if you qualified. Let us know if you want in. You play by our rules. Hmm. Yeah. So, and, and again, that downplays it so much. I know. But then, you know, you take a look and you say, okay, but women still aren't involved. Like, they're no. not exactly... No, I'm not saying they're... The greatest... No either no of inclusivity so i'm not going to give them credit for being inclusive no i'm not I'm doing just, that at all either i yeah. just find it very interesting i'm like wow this just keeps going yeah. like it just it's just another yeah. element it's kind of it's and exciting the PGA it's Tour just, is just fun to watch. so annoyed and and i, <laughs> I kind of i love the annoyance of it <laughs> exactly because you guys are just being so hypocritical yeah. about the whole thing that oh if we don't do that you know but if this had been you know the NFL doesn't get mad that there's another football league that's in the spring because they know they're not going to compete with them. But if there was and they said, we'll give Tom Brady $100 million to come play with us and he left, what are you going to do about it? Mm-hmm. He's a football player that's now being paid double. That's the almighty dollar. What's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. That's supposed to be what we're all supposed to do, chase you know, democracy and, and chase free enterprise and so, if yeah, you don't want to do it, it, you don't want to do it. That's fine. But yeah, mm-hmm. don't be yeah. upset that other guys are going to jump at this and do yeah. it. Oh, okay. Oh, they just won't admit they're doing it for the money. Well, We're no, all, I think they are. I, I got out are. of bed this morning for the money. Who's the one married to Gretzky? Uh, Dustin Johnson? Johnson, yeah. I think he's not coming maybe right out and say it in those words. I think it was pretty clear that, no, they're paying me this. Yeah. I'm going to go do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even have to win. Like, and they're you, still going to pay me to do this. Can you imagine an American saying, oh, but you're just doing it for the money. Holy smokes. Yeah. When I think of America, I think of you're doing everything for the for almighty the dollar. Yeah. You know, the hypocrisy Clearly. on that is yeah. just so funny. But, no, it was just interesting to me. And yeah. I, it's been bugging me all morning. I wanted to get your thoughts. Really? I know we couldn't, well, we couldn't, we didn't really have time to get into it this morning. Yeah. That's what was, the podcast is for. Exactly. I was just curious. So I know it's not Christmassy, but it, it was interesting. We'll be back to all Christmassy tomorrow. Are we? We're looking okay. forward to that. Yeah. We're going to have Mayor uh, Jim Harrison on the show from the great city of Corny West. What is he most grateful in 2022 and what projects is he awaiting in 2023? Mm-hmm. It's like the Queen's Address from Jim. It really is. Tomorrow. And, and then we have, we're trying to get Mayor Neil Ellis to answer my text. Well, it might be the he's phones a busy again. Guy. He's Much a like busy Jimmy guy. this week, it took us a while to get Jim Harrison too. Yeah. Same Poor thing. Mayor Harrison, thank you for your patience. Very we patient. appreciate Santa will reward you come mm-hmm. Sunday. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we can connect with Mayor Neil Ellis as well before the end of the week. And we hope that the uh, storm doesn't get too bad so we can enjoy our throwback Thursday tomorrow, which is uh, we've laid an egg, I think, this week on our Which is song. unfortunate because they're yeah. two good songs, but yeah, it doesn't really seem to strike really. a chord with people. It's <laughs> so the category, uh, My no, song's a good song. Mine's not really. But not um, the chord struck that we were hoping for. Yeah, so it, it was songs that had to have Christmas in the in title. In the title. And we didn't want to do All I Want for Christmas is You. No, we've already Wonderful used Christmas it. time. And it's like, so we went off grid a little bit. Yeah. You have Smashing Pumpkin. Christmas, Christmas time, time, which was also used in the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Right. So I thought, okay, yeah, yeah, like there's some, there's, it's got a resurgence of popularity. There's some yeah. people know it now, so yeah. But, and I chose Ray Parker Jr.'s Christmas Time which is I here. I had never heard before, which uh, <laughs> has not been used in anything, <laughs> but it's the picture of Ray Parker from the '80s is worth Very, a look. It is it's worth a look, ladies. Wow, like he and is halfway he through. Is sure, yell <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> In the song, and you'll want to hear it. You'll want to hear it. So get in, get the votes. Okay. The votes are lagging a little. I think people are like, I'm tired of you two for now. Is this uh, year over yet? Yeah. <laughs>
Is this really your last throwback? Maybe not. We're no, we've got one week. more. <laughs> got another one. All for Burger Revolution. They, of course, have their Taste Titan going on. Each location, one in Belleville, one in Trenton, they've got their own flavor fight going on. So get your votes in on that. And remember, Burger Revolution gift cards will always be returned. Because <laughs> they get you lunch. Mm, and they're so good. BurgerRevolution.ca so okay. gives you all your menu options. Have yourself a fabulous first day of winter. Kay, we'll talk tomorrow morning with Mark and Charity Mornings.